All right, here we go, Wednesday prayer. I prayed for our arrogance, Proverbs 16, 15. Every one of us has struggled with arrogance at some point or another. We start thinking we got something figured out only to discover we couldn't be more wrong. Our shame can lead to crippling arrogance if we allow it. Shame will start making us think we're the only ones struggling with something, that we're all alone in our struggle. Our sin is different than any other that's ever been committed in the history of the world. Spoiler alert, in that regard, we ain't special. There ain't nothing any of us has done that ain't already been done before, that ain't already been forgiven of before. You think God is surprised by your sin? You really think he's on the throne saying, hey, Gabriel, Susie just told a lie. I can't believe it. Hey, Michael, come here, come here, come here. Johnny just lusted after that woman. I did not see that coming. How arrogant of us to think the creator of the universe ain't aware of everything. Who do we think we are? We think we can't be forgiven again for the same thing that we've done before? When we convince ourselves of lies like that, we cheapen the grace that God has given us. If we can lose our redemption that easy, then why did Christ even die? I was at a conference this weekend, and I heard a pastor say, how many of us have committed sin before Jesus died? That question hit me hard because the answer is zero. Zero of us have committed sin before Jesus. Christ died, and he died anyway, knowing we were going to continue in our sin. That's grace and forgiveness the devil can't stop. No matter how many lies he tells us, God is not surprised by our sin. He created us. He knows exactly what we're going to do before he made us. So we need to stop being arrogant about ourselves and thinking we've done something new because we ain't special. Love you guys.